Yeah, Jeff, we heard that telling you that he didn't realize that you were coming right up on him until the end there. How and when were you able to kick it up a notch to really catch up? Uh, by round eight. Uh, and then on the ninth round, I actually passed him a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I knew it would be a sprint on the 10th. And uh, he went hard. I couldn't keep up. Um, but I, I did try. That was my max. I, I was thinking maybe, maybe I could catch him just enough so I can go faster up the rope. So I'm pretty quick at going up a rope. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, that was unexpected. I thought uh, I would not finish in the top three. Why? Why is that? It's the bike. Like, it's unknown. I, I don't practice the bike as much. Um, so I was like, well, and usually bike workouts, like assault bikes, YouTube bike, whatever bike, I'm a little bit, I'm not super good in them. So I was like, maybe uh, I'll just get fifth on this one. But second is good. Sure. Now, earlier on for the snatches, and we heard you call your shot yesterday, didn't quite go the way that no. you wanted it to. But, I mean, you gave your full effort there as well. How are you feeling after that event? Uh, well, actually, now it feels good because this morning, like the toast to bar and, and uh, lunges, I expected what happened. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, I was bummed out after that because that's I have been working a lot on, on those kinds of movements. Uh, but, I mean, I'm way better at snatches than toast to bar. So after the snatches, it felt good, second place, and now a second is like, okay, cool, let's go into the final event of the day, finish it on, on a strong note, and go on, go on to Sunday. Yeah, thanks so much, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you.